we are back so now um we have the sun in virgo so it's about setting and we're also going to have a new moon in virgo so we're going to have a sun in virgo then you're going to have a new moon in virgo so virgo is all about uh that maria immaculate energy or what you call um the sixth house or something that you pay attention to or you need to be paid attention to so when you're talking of number six those who have been in the classes for the last six years you know about this so six is being paid attention to heavily it doesn't matter so this is even how we came up with that star of moses navituka maizona or the three triangles so when we have the moon in virgo it's always good especially if you have been following the the trances and everything understanding that what we activated when the sun was in leo and then we also had a new moon in leo okay right now you're supposed to be setting or grounding yourself for what you call a routine now because of that now and where we be moving together because i've decided also that apart from doing the reparenting our men also need to understand their role in this so the boy child um has been so neglected he doesn't even know what he wants or what he's supposed to be doing so the changing roles of men is what i'm going to talk about in this live so historically men would fight for survival so if you go for go back you're going to see books of valor men of uh taking swords taking spears taking clubs okay so men would fight for survival and that is how they would expand their territories all the way to even how you are conquered okay and they took over your lands but today a lot of men work in office jobs so that means they don't meet a lot of what you can call physical dangers and if they are not meeting physical dangers that means that their survival instincts are not being tried okay so their testosterone is not being spiked their fight or flight is not being exercised okay so now you see we have to be talking of solutions now we have to be talking of solutions now um i've been observing through my company body by richie i've been observing uh even the time i took a kind of break from the fitness industry to go after or to go more into my spiritual journey i've observed and realized that a lot of men have given up on working out okay a lot of men have given up going to the gym so a lot of men have uh resorted to and i'm not even saying that there's a time we had a healthy uh men folk i'm just saying i've noticed more that a lot of men have lost hope that would be the word men have just given up men have given up on everything they are just there a lot of men have even gone back to the village i know so many young able men i'm not saying the village is bad but even back in the village they are not doing anything but they have given up they said hey man me after covid eh hey, niliona hapana wacha tu nirudi nyumbani niweke ngome moja mbili sasa kosa pesa ya kukula so they have given up building but remember in the beginning was the word and word is talking and talking is god and god is all about creation in the beginning god created understand and read your bible perfectly in the beginning god did not sit and think at him hmm. in the beginning god was sitting he had a pen he had a diary he was thinking he was feeling a certain way before he was no in the beginning god made so building is the first thing that you should be talking about especially more for the men because we are talking of externalizing and men by default we externalize the women 
go within. Okay, so look at it like this. Historically, men fought for survival to expand their territories. Now, there has been a plan, the whole feminization and other things, whereby today, the man being in the office, and even those office jobs, they are being competed for by women. So the men are not meeting physical dangers. So it's about time now, whereby our men find new ways because they don't even always have to be the old. I'm not telling them to go back to the forest. I'm not telling them, uh, I'm not telling them that. But we need to find new ways to build strength and resilience. Okay? One of the ways can be through what you call physical fitness. Or what you can say are uh, personal challenges, which is the best. Okay? So since most of you cannot even go to the gym for the physical fitness, you're already old and lazy, your sex doesn't last more than three minutes maximum. We need to come up with what you call personal challenges. Whereby you set a personal challenge and you go after that. So this is going to build strength. Whether the strength is mental, remember, where the mind goes, the body goes. So if you send your mind into that, where you are building mental strength, either through a personal challenge that you have set for yourself you say we are in 2024 by 2026 i'll have bought this amount of land you have to be specific the measure of the land the location you have to travel to the place see the area you want to buy land in yahuru you cannot buy land in yahuru kama ujaye na nyahururu enda tu nyahururu check and bnb for two nights ka nyahururu feel the weather look at tembea ona watu venye wako are they friendly look at everything maybe you even going to discover oh kumbi hata nikikuja nyahururu this business opportunity is open for me because you shouldn't be stuck in one way because remember historically men is about survival is about expanding your territories usikuwa wanaume wanazaliwa roaka wanaekana mimba roaka wanaishi roaka wanakufa roaka okay so you need to come up with new ways of building strength resilience you need to keep going so one way is through physical fitness if you can do that because through physical fitness you're spiking your testosterone your girlfriends will thank you for that your dick will thank you for it you're going to have hard direction so, so all these things okay so this is a specific one for men we have changing roles of men due to where we are in the new world and in the new world in the new age of aquarius we will be the people who will have set an example a center stage of what people can look at as like wait when you go back to 2024 all the way from 2012 we are not even fully into the age of aquarius we are still in the uh, the the pisces end game before now we fully jump into some are saying we are fully into it but when we look back into the age and the time of aquarius what will be those men known for will those men be known for again victimhood are we still going to be the dead and kemadi are we still going to be the 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 the, the kenyatis are we still going to be uh, the 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 tomboyas whereby the only thing we are teaching our people is victimhood tomboya was shot dead and kemadi was shot so are we going to change the narrative whereby the narrative will be for people known for changing the world in one way shape or another people who put their boots on the ground or people who are willing to drop their balls go against the normal society because normal has not been working okay and we should not even be going into the new normal because normal has not been working normal has been raising damaged children men and women Nomo has never found a cure to date for anything up to date we don't even have a cure for anything we only take medication to uh, mask the problem nomo has not even stopped the wars so the new nomo is bullshit we still have children being uh, blown to pieces so nomo has not been working and it's about time that we change this 
It's about time we take something and uh, 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 no pants intended. It's about time we take the spanners and throw them in the whole wheel of this thing working and stop the wheels. Then when we stop the wheels, we can recalibrate. This thing is not working. The world is not working. And there's no one else to come and do this. I don't even know why we think that the world will be changed by other people. Yet it is you and me in this world. Okay? And I'm talking about you men now. Because men are the people who go out there. But then the building will be done by the women. Men have no fire. Fire belongs to the women. Okay? So we have to come up with the resilience, the seed, and our seed has to make uh, what you call sense. We cannot be talking of seed that don't make sense. You cannot be telling your woman, Unajua, ntanunua meli. It's okay to have a dream, but that doesn't make sense if you're not even in the shipping company, you're not even in the shipping industry, so at least it has to make sense. Now, once the seed, your idea is making sense, then our women can take that seed, that is their work, incubate it, put it inside them, let it germinate. Then at least your seed, if it was a healthy seed, instead of um, becoming a dad, then maybe it can root, root chakra, the first point, natural insects, and then it can grow into something that can be seen. Okay? So the whole of uh, today being a, a, a Tuesday, and we are doing the reparenting, is also be a day where I'll be talking about more on the masculine, since it's a mass day, and mass is action, passion, and it come easy. You get it. So again, I'm going to end this live, and I'm going to start another one. Let me see if there was a question before I go. So there's no question how many people, 3,000 over 15 people watching, which would have been at 10,000, how many people are sharing for. So I'm going to end this live and I'm going to start another one.